Hey guys, uh, I'm on to show, we're working on a Duramax block um, for one of my customers, Carl, and uh, commercial, that Carl at Commercial Powertrain. Um, I wanted to show the importance on a Duramax, why to use a torque plate. So if you're not boring and honing in the engine, let's say you're using the same size pistons as what you had, and you're just deglazing it, um, this can be an issue. But if that's what you want to do, we can't put the torque plate on because you have to move a bunch of material. So it is what it is. Um, but they tend to, they will burn oil. It is what it is. You don't want to put pistons in it. You know, you just want to put rings in it. You want to deglaze it. This is something that you are going to have uh, lots of times. Like I said, if you don't want to do it properly, well then this might happen. So anyways, all right guys, so here's the Duramax block. I just, I flipped it up so that this, this is the torque plate, plate side and the plate is torqued still. Um, we just, we haven't finished washed this thing yet, but so you see about, you're about half a thou big. Just get it in here. This isn't that easy to do when you're looking through the gate, the, you're looking through the camera. <laughs> so you can see where it's half a thou. I just went in kind of three spots across the bottom or across. So top, middle, close to the bottom. Now, if we go on this side, half a thou down, thou, down a couple tenths probably, half a thou, and there's your, whoop. hold on. But you can see how much that moves and the reason for that versus with torque plate with no torque plate the reason for that yeah shit i don't know if you'll be able to see it you can't see it now i'll see if i can find a picture of it but so basically the top this much of the cylinder has induction hardening built into the block. And I think what it is, is that when you torque the plate down, because it's so hard when you bore it, it's hard to bore. You have to slow the boring bar way down. And we have good cutters in the boring bar. Otherwise it tears the, cut, the, the cutter up. So I think what it is, is that it has that, that, that counter bore, uh, or sorry, it has the, um, the bore has the induction hardening on it. So the induction hardening, when you torque it down, it doesn't distort right at the induction hardening, it does below it, I think is what it does. Um, it's because that is so hard. So if you don't use a torque plate on these things, like, man, you can have issues. Same with the Cummins. I've showed the video on the Cummins. I'll link it above right here. Um, but basically the same idea, but the Duramax, I know lots of shops don't use a torque plate on Duramaxes. Um, I'm fortunate enough, uh, the, the boys at commercial powertrain actually bought this. I don't do a lot of Duramax stuff, but they bought this, uh, years ago to do their own. Um, and they're, I'm fortunate enough that they, Anytime that I need it, uh, they allow me to uh, rent it from them. So, and I do appreciate that. Thanks, Steve and Carl. Uh, I don't know Steve doesn't watch much, but I know Carl watches. Um, I do appreciate that. But anyways, um, just thought I wanted to show that just so that you guys could see. Um, for you guys that are Duramax guys as well as Cummins guys or whatever, or if you're just watching this because I have it um, uh, as a Duramax tags. Um, also, we give a shout out to SoCal Diesel. That's their plate. Um, and ARP head studs, locking her down. And uh, anyways, like, subscribe, uh, check out my other videos, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate you watching. Bye now.